All right, friends, in this quick episode of DIY Nate, I woke up this morning and we had sprung forward time-wise and I am in my 2011 Toyota Sienna and I couldn't figure out how to change the time. Of course, had to look in the manual, had my daughter looking through it and the instructions were not super intuitive. So I'm gonna make this quick little video on how to change your clock so you can spring forward or fall behind, whatever your situation may be. And hopefully it helps you out as you get your Toyota Sienna clock set right. Uh, a lot of times there's a dial or something you can easily turn. This one, uh, less intuitive, but not really a fault. I mean, it, it makes sense once you see it. The trick is you probably won't remember next time. So hopefully you come back and watch this video again, uh, or maybe you remember which is even better all right let's do it all right so here is our minivan we've got our 916 time and we are showing uh, down here some of the buttons we're going to be needing so the first one we're going to push is the setup button and you can see what happens we're going to push that setup screen and there we go we've got some options here door keyless entry lighting default settings exit and uh, the info button lets us go up display and clock is the first one on the menu and so I'm gonna go ahead and click select and reset. So I'm gonna select display and clock. Uh, so I click the select button and that took me into clock. It says units. If I wanna select units or clock or language or screen settings, in this case, I'm gonna simply click select and reset again because I am selecting clock. I'm gonna go ahead and hit clock here. And now it's 917. It wants you to use the info button to change the hours. And in this case, that's all I'm gonna do. We just moved the info button, it changed to 10. And so that's what we've got there. And now it's 1017. And uh, press select and reset to complete. Select reset, we are done. And exit this, we will simply go down to setup again, which scrolls me down. I'll go all the way down to return. And then I will push select and reset to get out of this screen. And we are now mostly, mostly done here. We'll go set up one more time. Set up, moving our way down the list. Set up, set up, sorry for the blinky screen. The light here is not great. And we're gonna click select and reset. And there we go, we're back to our screen. Time is now 10.18 and we're good to go. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching DIY Nate and have a great day.